Hi everybody, welcome back to this week's My Weekly Rage Fix. I hope you had a wonderful week. Um, I'd like to dedicate this week's fix to our good friend Blake Rubin. You may have noticed a new video introduction that is all thanks to him. I did it really quickly and he did an excellent job. Blake, I thank you very much. In this week's Parsha, Parsha's Vayera, we learn about the infamous city of Sodom. In English, it's Sodom, Sodom, and Gomorrah. I'm not sure where what Sodom and Amorah, but I'm not sure where the G came from. But Sodom and Amorah were destroyed. So the question is, what? Why were they destroyed? What were What were they doing wrong? Um, they basically became a very selfish country. Everybody who Everybody who lived there always kept for themselves. And the different laws that they put in place there were to ensure that people wouldn't want to come in, especially the poor people. But the question is asked, why is it that the poor people of Sodom were wiped out as well? On the one hand, you can understand the rich people. They were the greedy ones. They wanted everything for themselves. They didn't want poor people to come. And uh, whenever a poor person would come, he would just slam the door in the poor person's face. But the poor people, why were the poor people of that city wiped out? So there's a few answers to this question, but the answer I want to share with you is, is that the truth is, is that there was no real difference between the rich person and the poor person. They were both from the same fabric. The only reason that the poor person did not slam his door in other people's faces was because he had no door to slam and he had no house to slam. But if he were to in, win the lottery overnight and win the mega millions of Sodom and he built himself this nice palace, guess what? He would have also slammed the door. So he was part and parcel the same person, which just goes to show you how ruined a people they were, that even the poor people were so demoralized, were so rotten on the inside that they were deserving of destruction. So destruction is... That, that, that Sodom was deserving of was because their lifestyle was really a lifestyle of living for oneself, selfishness, which is the exact opposite reason for why Hashem created people. People were created to give. People were created to benefit other people. As our sages teach us, we have to emulate Hashem as much as possible. Just like He is compassionate, we have to be compassionate. Just like He has just like he is kind and does kindness unto others, so too we. And so the same way Hashem gives us benefits, we have to benefit other people. That's called living in the image of Hashem. And when a person takes on the exact opposite, he's basically saying he's not human at all. He's saying he does not live in the image of Hashem. Somebody who can become so rotten is deserving of destruction. That's what Sodom stood for. That's what Lot, who was Abraham's nephew, stood for. And they were deserving of destruction. The flip side of that is our great forefather, Avraham, who excelled in the character trait of kindness. He ran after people to do kindness for them. No, even though he had just had a circumcision, it was the heat of the day, as the verse says. It didn't matter to him because the only thing that didn't matter to him was other people and making their life a better life. He tried to emulate Hashem as much as possible. So that is our job. Our job is to show that we were created in the image of Hashem. And the way we do that the most is being kind unto other people. And like we've said before, that if you want to do be selfish, the best way to be selfish is to do for other people. Because when you do for other people, you're really growing the most. Have a wonderful Shabbos, and we'll talk to you next week. Thanks for listening.